hello everyone and i'm back no i was not dead i still am alive and uh, i wasn't even kidnapped either i actually was working on a very cool project for one of my clients it's a bot of bots using power virtual agent uh, for those who are not aware power virtual agent is actually the latest offering from microsoft wherein end users non-technical people can also make chat bots and expose them to their end users. So it's mostly think about IT guys answering how to reset my password, how to order a new laptop, or HR people creating their own bots, uh, answering user queries like what are the leave requests and so on and so forth. Pretty easy to do for end users. The project uh, was about creating one middleware uh, which can consume all these PVA applications. The problem with Power Virtual Agent as such is that every new bot is a different chat window for an end user. So think about it this way. If IT and HR and sales are offering their queries, their you know, help to internal business users with their bots, so these are three different bots. So that means three different applications needs to be added to Teams. And that's a mess for an end user because he needs to figure out which chat window to open, you know, which bot application to open to ask his queries. That's not what we want because for a large enterprise, what is really user experience really matters. So the idea is to create only one bot for end users, which should be able to uh, to answer all the queries, irrespective of which department it is. And that's what the the project was about. So we wrote a kind of a middleware. Uh, which will consume all these application, these PVAs and expose it as as one application to the end user. And of course, all these bots, they have to be plug and playable. So any new department can come, expose their bot via this application without us having to redo or you know, re-release anything. If some bot is not proper, they, it's not working per correctly, then it's, it should be very easy for IT to remove that bot from the offering because it's plug and playable. All these PVA bots are plug and playable. But uh, the project goes one step further. We can also do uh, multilingual implementation. So for example, let's say one of, one of the features of this middleware which we are going to write is live agent transfer. Now imagine a large enterprise which is offering the user support uh, via a manual process so there is a, actually a person who is sitting and answering your qu queries or chatting and answering your queries uh, he doesn't need to know all the languages now if he knows only english what i can do through this middleware is to take a query in spanish or chinese anything call the cognitive services of azure get it translated to english send it to my live agent and then do the reverse so it's a huge benefit for big companies because they don't need to maintain so far as chat is concerned, they don't need to maintain multilingual support people would do. Of course, it's not the perfect language translations. It's not the perfect Chinese, perfect Spanish, but the people do get a sense of what the solution is. Uh, I can also do telemetry in this middleware. Uh, we will be using C Sharp bot framework to write this middleware. In future courses, I will show you what all we did, how we approached the problem. Um, and then also do file uploads and, you know, all the other kind of implementation which PVA lacks. So this is the overall architecture of the project. On the left side stands the user. He has is interacting with the whole thing uh, in a Teams, only one application. And on the right side stands the individual PVA bots. These are the bots which each department can write and these will get plugged and played into my overall architecture. Within these bots, each department can write whatever queries they want to answer of the end user. For example, if there was an HR bot, this is uh, responsible for uh, answering users' sal um, leave policies, for example, and the sales can answer about customers, queries any users might have finance of course can answer your salary questions and blah 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 facilities will let you know when the what the what's the number for the reception when the office opens and closes the idea here of course is that each i as a developer i as a it guy who's providing these services to my end users i am not writing these bots these bots are actually written by individual departments they can interact they can use power automate and interact with their own custom systems if they want 
and we will see during the course of this training how to do that also but these are plug and playable devices into my overall architecture and from my azure bot which is over here till this dotted line section this is what i refer to as middleware and this middleware is actually a postman between the bot and the end user so depending upon how many chat windows you might have if on the right side within the bot framework in from the bot side my job as a middleware is to conglomerate it con conglomerate it i like using very big words when i don't know the pronunciation um, also as a as a single chat window expose it as a single chat window to my end user now once i do that the benefits as i said are immense i can do language translations i can also do uh, escalated to live agent depending upon if a user wants he types escalate i want to talk to a live agent or something like that or even if the sales bot the pva bot sends me an event okay i don't know the topic please escalate it to end user so i can do that also in the c sharp frame in in this middleware how do I do it? Pretty straightforward. Uh, whenever the user logs in, I make a call to my database to figure out all the bots that are registered in my system. I present an option to the end user. These are buttons, not different chat windows. That is the key over here. There is only one application released to Teams, only one place, one chat window a user needs to go. And then I do all the Rasmitas behind the scenes. I get it and then once the user has selected which bot he wants to talk to I use direct line and I act as a postman the middleware acts as a postman between the user and the and the bot and these bots at any time user can also say take me to the home screen or start over again then I can take it take the user back to the main dashboard with all the bots presenting him an option to change the bots if he wants I can also do um, start over within a bot itself. So because let's say a user is talking to the facilities PVA bot, he asks the question about reception. So bot answers all that flow. Then I can also reset my conversation, but only within the context of the facilities bot. I don't want to ask, uh, he doesn't want to really go into the home screen, right? So that kind of functionality is also possible. Now, another, uh, Another positive of this approach is that there are certain things that are not inbuilt as of now in a PVA bot, Microsoft Power Virtual Agent. For example, the ability to upload a document. In my case, uh, let's say a user, we would like the end user to upload their um, CVs. That CV cannot be uploaded because PVA doesn't natively support it. So how to handle that scenario with the help of a middleware that is also implemented over there. And we will see how the whole thing whole thing works it out but that's pretty much uh, the central idea of the whole project so i hope the architecture was clear uh, a good thing about this project is there is a lot of lot of things to learn power virtual agent of course yes and then we will also be using bot framework c sharp which is actually what i call a middleware uh, pretty cool uh, if you're as a developer you're gonna love it uh, it's very similar to dotnet core so that means we'll also be learning dotnet core in our future courses uh, socket programming direct line api direct line api is basically how these bots communicate with each other skill transfers and blah 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 so i hope you're as excited as i am uh, for this project and i see you in my future videos where i'll be discussing each one of them in much detail and we will do we'll set up a project and a poc which will do all these things so till then take care bye and of course don't forget to hit like share and subscribe on the button below your appreciation is deeply deeply motivating thanks bye